These are our aluminum frame series diaphragms from Hunter Specialties and Carlton Calls. Single reed is the red, double reed is the blue, and triple reed is the brown. Essentially, I like the single reeds for usually cow calling, the blue reed is a double reed for cow calling and bugling, and the triple reed is typically used for those deeper tones of a bugle. If you're not sure what diaphragm you're going to like, pick up our Infinity 4 pack from Hunter Specialties and Carlton Calls. If you have followed us over the years, you know that I was the pioneer, the granddaddy or whatever of diaphragm elk calls. And we innovated that type of, of sound, put it into the market, and we've been very successful using diaphragm calls. But over the years, I have learned that I don't go in the woods without a particular call because this will stay in our line of calls until the day I die, it is so effective. And the name that it has, the fighting cow calls. Just imagine this, two cows fighting during the rut when all the hormones are going crazy in these animals. Now you got two cows fighting over a bull, but it's the sound that it produces. Let me just demonstrate it. This rubber band is holding this reed in the proper position so it gives you that just right nasal sound. It's called the fighting cow call. But now, <laughs> let me show you what I'm really excited about, and that is the fighting cow call, I'm gonna say on steroids, or it has all grown up. We're gonna show you what I call the Long Ranger. It's high pitch, it's loud, it hurts your ear. I, I designed this for the bull that's on the next mountain. I wanted to try to locate something that I could even go to the next day to hunt. I'm telling you folks, I've been hunting elk almost 40 years. I'm the pioneer of the diaphragm elk calls. We were the pioneers of the fighting cow call, this type of call right here. And this is the most stimulating, effective, aggressive elk call I have ever used in my life. I cannot believe the results we had last year on our test, how bulls came not only from a long distance, not only did they bull from, or not only, not only did they bugle from a long distance, when they got close and I used the call, they kind of went nuts. This is the most effective elk call I have ever made or ever blown in the field. And it's called the Long Ranger from Hunter Specialty. This is the Mac Daddy from Hunter Specialties and Carlton Calls. When we developed this call several years ago, we had a lot of people that struggled using a conventional diaphragm in their mouth. So what we did is we put a single reed diaphragm and we put it externally. So much like you would blow a call, a diaphragm call in your mouth by pressing up with your tongue for the high notes, letting off for the low notes, that's how you use this lever. As I depress this for the high notes, let off for the low notes, but it's all externally. So the consistency is unmatched. So a simple bugle, I just hold the call down um, horizontally and I'm just taking air volume. The more air volume I blow through the call, the higher the note, less air volume, the lower the note. So to bugle, Notice I don't have to waver this, uh, this lever a whole lot. I just hold it down horizontally and just sheerly blow the air volume through it. Now to chuckle on the call, all I'm doing are grunt. I'm just kind of just pumping the reed and going wah, wah, wah. Put them all together. If you remove this call from the grunt tube, it's now a cow call. Just depress the reed for the high notes, let off for the low notes. Very easy call to use. The Mac Daddy from Hunter Specialties and Carlton Calls. Primo's honey, stream the language. Open read calls. We're going to talk about a make of the bull crazy. Close range, open read call. You want to use this call with your teeth or your lips. Now, I'm going to use my finger to show you what I'm trying to do. But my finger's round, just like my lip is. So I'm going to put my lip on the reed. 
And when I do that, I'm going to blow air, and I'm going to get a low or a high sound, depending on where I put it. We've got an O-ring constricting this at where I like it the best. If you need to move it further closer in or further out, you can. Once you've learned the read and what gives you the sound, you want to be able to make that sound on demand at any time. Now, you want to go from a high to a low. So you have to extend the length of the reed to get to the low. So I will push the call in my mouth or I will rock it. When I rock it, it automatically changes the length of the reed. I'm gonna start out by just moving it into my mouth. I will tell you, some people find the call will tickle their lips so bad they can't use it. That's because they're using the center of their lip. Use the side and it shouldn't tickle you. See, I'm moving it in. Now I'm gonna rock it. Can you get that sound? All cow sounds and a bird like a high to a low. Now with the Make a Bull Crazy, both the long range and the short range, you can pinch it to give you more back pressure and change the volume. When would I use the long range? Standing on the edge of the canyon. Could be a half mile across. That's typically where they're gonna go sometimes to bed up. And I'm trying to find a bull. <coughs> They'll answer you from so far away, it's incredible. But these are cow sounds that cows make. And they can get pretty aggressive. <coughs> That's the estrus sound. So I'm starting out coming back out and doing it over again and moving it up and down. All those are extra sounds. A cow has gotten very excited. It's breeding time, and this is what can really excite a bull. Open read call. I'm making a bull crazy. Close range and long range. Primo's honey, stream the language. The bullhorn, small, compact, easy to carry. It's got the same blue reed system that all our bugles have. It's got a place for a glove compartment for an extra reed in case you ever break it. Uh, they don't break very easily and expands for a big sound. And like all our calls, remove it and use it with a mouth call.